Hi, I'm with Auntie Swansi. We are going to talk about the Peranakan uh, attire. Okay, when you look at the Nonias, my god, head to toe, stunning. So we are going through the baju, the shoes, the belts, the jewelry that they use. Okay, uh, we are going to start with the camisola. Yes, I guess. Some have got uh, embroidery. Okay. Sulan, sometimes they feel it. Okay. Usually it's the back part. What do you mean the back part? The front is usually simple. There's no uh, lace or something like that. So they have a pocket in front. This must be an old piece then, huh? Yeah, these are really old ones. And this looks like... Uh, tatting. Tatting, correct? Yeah, like tatting. Huh? Yes, yes, they do tatting. Tatting is something they tie with not season it. It's like a tana. Yeah, you got a little like that. That's such a unique art. Mm. Obviously, you need a camiso because yes. the kebayas are transparent. They are paper thin gossamer like. Yeah, it protects the modesty a little bit lah. Yeah, because then, it's so revealing, right? And then usually the material is very thin. Okay. And then uh, they sh they like to show the beautiful part in the back. Usually you see the pocket in front. Because the sarong has no pockets, so they put inside. Huh? So smart. Okay. Now the sad, tragic part. Auntie Swansi, where can somebody interested buy stuff like that? I don't think they have this anymore in the market. <laughs> you have the camisole. Next thing we have the kebayas. We have a few types of kebayas here. Let's start with the long one. So there's a baju panjang. They, again, they have the money, the means, so they will buy the best material to actually sew the kabayas. Huh? But I think long before that, the, okay. all the baju panjangs are very thick. In the, in the pattern is the check usually. Let's talk about the kabayas. Let's start with the antique pieces. They, they don't have uh, a lot of embroidery coming up, but look at the material. That's a beautiful piece, huh? You see the old ones, they all have this one also. Okay, they talk about the lines in front, huh? Yeah, the cutting is also different and the back is very narrow. And the sides are actually thicker, that's why you have this piece that comes across in front. So the big headache is, how do you actually take care of your kabayas? I think the material is good. Usually it's rupiah and it really lasts. It really lasts? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, what about starching the kabayas? Do you do that? Uh, in the present days, I think we don't like to wear. Because it's too hard? Hard ones. Uh, oh, I remember my... Yeah, we used to starch. My grandma. Mm -hmm. She would starch. It's shining and it's very smooth. You know? Yeah. Does starching the kabaya helps to maintain it? To keep it longer? Yes. Huh? It does. It does, yeah. huh? Mm -hmm. So the new pieces are... Uh, got the flowers. Some of them we got fishes. Some we got birds. Okay, so the kebayas, no problem, we can still buy it, okay, there are still people producing it. Of course, the price range, you can pay an arm and a leg for it, you can get cheap ones from Indonesia. Huh? Big, big difference. The wonderful thing about kebayas, there's no buttons, it's like one size fits all, okay. So if you're slimmer, they'll take more cloth to fasten the croissants, otherwise they'll just, you know, use less. So these are beautiful pieces of croissant. Beautiful jade, and then it's a bracelet, and there's a link. Matching bracelet. Very nice stuff, huh? Of course, the kebaya goes with the sarung. We have all the sarung behind. Color combination, very important. So we have the belts. I'm sure we can get Nonia belts nowadays, lah. So these belts are amazing because, again, one size fits all. You can hook any part. You can extend the belt. This is something I've not seen before. Yeah, huh? Instead of a belt, you okay. wear this. And then we come down to the feet. Of course, we have the tasok manet. Um, beautiful, beautiful uh, bead work. And the beads are usually important. The present ones, obviously, the beads are so much bigger. Huh? This is so fine. It's a stunning piece. Tasok manet, you can still buy because there are still people producing. So the nonias will spend time looking good. So when they go for dinners, they go for functions, wow. They really stop people in their tracks. What about the babas? What would they wear? 
But that's normally when then uh, Oh, okay. <laughs> so they like coats, jackets. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Hot tropical weather, coats, jackets. Hmm. Suffer professional, huh? As in all cultures, it's an ever evolving thing. The big question is whether the new generation they're going to wear all this. So can you imagine if I ask my daughter to wear this baju panjang? You also wear it with a sarong. And with a sarong sabu. Which teenage would actually wear this and all this jewelry? Thank you so much, Auntie Sonsi.